welcome to Wolken Schafe podcast. It's episode 23. Uh, my name is Magdalena and this is my little kitty co-host, the Marat. Meow. We have a Tuesday, um, June 28th of 2016. Um, you haven't seen me last week and I will explain why. <laughs> in the last segment of of the podcast because it's a bit it's a long story so maybe not everyone is interested um, if you are a returning viewer thank you so much that you are with me again i'm i'm delighted to have such lovely viewers that i have and if you are a new viewer thank you so much for checking out my podcast this is a knitting spinning and dyeing podcast, uh, usually in Adlisville in Switzerland, but this episode is in Warsaw, Poland. So, hello after a break. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I haven't been here. I'm not feeling 100% with my health yet. Um, so excuse me if I'm a bit, uh, yeah, low on the steam in this episode, but I'm very happy. I'm back. I couldn't wait. Uh, usually I record on uh, Wednesdays, but since I had that uh, two week break anyway, I thought it won't uh, hurt if I record one day before. Uh, you can find me on Ravelry and Instagram under my full name, which is Magdalena Wolf with double F. And we have also a Ravelry group, a Wolf and Schaffer podcast. Always there's a link in my show notes below the video. And and, and what what else? Oh yeah, if you if you enjoy my podcast, please subscribe on YouTube because this way you won't be missing any episodes. And uh, Oh yeah, about Ravelry, uh, my hand-dyed yarns, Wolf und Schaffe yarns, are uh, in Ravelry base, so if you happen to have them, <laughs> uh, you, can, you can add uh, add them to your stash on Ravelry with no problem. I mean, all my uh, regular bases are there. I, have to, I still have to add uh, the newest base, Moon. But other than that, all my regular bases are in the Ravelry base. So we can start with knitting. I have a finished object. Yay! But unfortunately, I don't have it with me here. I will just insert some pictures so you can, yeah, you can see it. It's uh, Wildes Meer by Kristen Lehrer, known as uh, Wollenwein. Um, and um, I have used exactly one skein of my uh, Wolfenschafe Howl uh, yarn, which is 75% merino, 25% tassel silk, in rose petals colorway. And it was yarn chicken, you guys. <laughs> By the end, I was, was, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I had another skein of this yarn, but I had really so little till the end of the shawl that I really didn't want to start another skein. And in the end, I have managed to finish it with one skein only, but now you can see how much of yarn I had left. <laughs> exactly this much! It was so stressful! Uh, I cheated only a tiny little bit, because two or three times I have, um, instead of Pearl two together, I did pearl three together. I don't think it will be visible uh, on the finished object, but this way I managed to finish the whole shawl 
with one skein of yarn. So yay! <sighs> and I'm very happy with the result. It, uh, it looks really lovely and it has lovely beads. So I will show them close up and when I'm back to Switzerland and I have the shawl with me because no, I just didn't take it to Switzerland. Oh yeah, and I'm drinking not a tea this time again. Uh, it's magnesium. Again, for me health. I will explain. So yeah, this was my finished object. Um, and my unfinished yet yeah, objects. <laughs> of course, fine and dandy socks. But there is more progress this time. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Um, I have to z manually zoom. Okay. So um, I have my progress keeper. I put put it here after last episode. So I made this much. So I have not that much left till the end of the foot. And I am actually thinking about um, when I when I reach the, mm, the heel to stop doing the pattern and switch only to stockinette. And I think it, it will look okay because somehow this pattern doesn't agree with me. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just I will finish the foot in the pattern and then I will switch to stockinette. And the pattern is um, uh, by the Sweater Co. And the yarn I am using for my contrasting toes and there will be heels and cuffs as well is Cascade Yarn Sock in dark plum colorway. And this is my uh, Wolf und Schafe footprint in Rusalka colorway, which looks like this. And in stockinette like this. I, I really like how it turns out. I'm happy with it. And I'm knitting on my 2.5 millimeters Tiao Gu, uh, which are 2.1, I think. Oh, where is it? Yes, 2.1 uh, US size. And now I can zoom back. Yay! Uh, so this is it for the socks and my... I think this is the project I've been working on since I have began the English version of, of my podcast because before I started in English, I was podcasting in Polish and then around, uh, I think in January, I started uh, in English and I think I was already working on this sweater, really, but it's growing, it's growing. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Look, 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 it's I'm really almost there with the body. According to the pattern, I have like three millimeters left till the end of this part and then I will be knitting the, the border. So, and this is of course a Mira sweater by Justyna Lorkowska. And, 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 uh, I have my markers, so uh, this marker, I put it where I was last time I've shown you the sweater. And here I have put this cute marker from, from Barbara from Knitting I Love. Hi! Uh, because from here I will be knitting these three centimeters, so it will be easy to measure from this point. And the yarn is, again, Malabrigo Makita in Sirena's colorway. And I'm knitting on 3.75 millimeter needles on my 
Knit Pro interchangeables. And, and yay! It's it's motivating that I'm I'm doing any progress. And it lives in my beautiful butterfly bag. I only hope I will have enough yarn because I'm almost done with first two and I have this other skein left but and I will have still to make the the bottom the, the border part and the collar and the sleeves but I think if I don't have enough for full sleeves I will just make shorter sleeves and that's it I have just recently bought a 120 centimeter cable um, so that I can um, comfortably work on two sleeves at the, at a time because with my previous sweater that I have completed it was a rhombi sweater uh, I used the cable two cables with with a join by knit pro they have those joints to uh, make your cable longer but then it was too long so it was not really convenient and then, then uh -oh. where are they seriously okay so it might be written somewhere here oh no there are no inches I thought oh yeah there are inches okay so 120 centimeters are 47 inches yay so yeah so I will be using this for the sleeves to knit them two at a time and I'm also thinking about not alternating because if if I have four little skeins tangling at themselves it might be really ridiculous and um, so I'm thinking that with the sleeves I will do what I'm doing with my fine and dandy socks meaning knitting one sock or one sleeve from the uh, this side from the outer and and the other from the center and I think it would be perfect we will see what happens and I have also another project, a new project. But first, uh, sip for me help. Mm. So, in this lovely bag, all of these bags that appear today are by A. Mary Knits, by the way. I have cast on, again by Justina, I, uh, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Some people say es, uh, asling. I heard this word uh, on, on a movie uh, pronounced Ashling. So I'm, I don't know. Oh, and I'm mid row again. Well, anyway, this is my choice of colors. It's a two color shawl. And this, this is, uh, well, yeah, this starts here with this tiny uh, garter part. Then it's the raindrops part because when, when blocked, the little holes will be visible. And at the end, it has a really beautiful uh, applied border. And my colors are these, these two, both my hand-dyed yarn. Uh, this is on my Belladonna base, which is Merino Nylon Cashmere blend, fingering. Uh, and, and, and the colorway is honey. You can tell why, I suppose. And this one is uh, actually on my sock base, which is paw. Um, which is 75% uh, uh, superwash wool and 25% nylon. 
uh, in my Vodnik colorway. So it's the same colorway that I used for my first uh, Vildesmer shawl. And, and I had a problem at the end because I had this much of the applied border to complete and I ran out of yarn. So I dyed another skein and this is this skein. It is, however, possible that I will run out of this yarn while knitting this shawl. So I don't know. <laughs> well, I will have to dye another one again. And luckily enough, there's, there, uh, there are sections in this shawl. So uh, it won't, I, I might do it in a way that um, the parts from different skeins don't touch each other. So you, it won't be so easy to tell whether it's uh, a tiny bit different a color. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'm knitting on 3.5 millimeter needles. And about the name, because I, I really like, there's, there's an animation called uh, The Secret of Kells. And it's about the masterpiece of European calligraphy. Um, the Book of Kells, which you can still uh, see uh, in Ireland, in a museum, I suppose, in Dublin. Um, and I highly recommend it. It's wonderful. It's such such a change for those everyday cartoons. It's really, um, how to call it, it's visually on a more original, higher level than your average cartoon. And it has like water, watercolor uh, backgrounds and um, as I said, original uh, visual ideas for the characters and and there are those parts from the book included in the animation. Also by the same um, studio, there is a newer uh, movie, which I also highly recommend, and it's about uh, traditional Celtic myths. And it's uh, the Song of the Sea. And it's, it's also wonderful, wonderful, absolutely. And you can actually learn a lot about uh, mythology from there. I, I already knew the, those things, so when I was watching this with Gleb, I was just explaining this, explaining that, but he also like learned from the movie itself. So Cool. And I really like uh, how these co two colors look together. I showed this to my friend, like, oh, this is my choice for, for my, uh, the newest project and she's completely your colors, you know, it's completely your color. <laughs> like um, the way of uh, matching colors is, is something you would do. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and also uh, with this project I entered uh, an airplane because I talked to my friend Muriel and she travels a lot. She's, she's from Canada, but she lives like me in Switzerland. And she said that she uh, doesn't have any problems with traveling with metal needles. I know that some people have experience with their needles being confiscated, but I decided to simply risk it and I for that purpose, I chose my like regular metal knit pros, not carbons, which are more expensive. So I thought, oh, well, if they confiscate them, I won't be that sad. <laughs> and yeah, nobody paid any attention. Of course, uh, Muriel also said that she ever had problems with her needles if she asked whether it's okay to bring them on. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's how it is. And I have my cute stitch marker here. It's okay. Time to zoom. Z zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. OK. 
Okay, can you see it? It's a really cute marker that I got from Barbara from Knitting I Love and also another lovely thing I got from her it's this clover oh come on progress keeper oh and why it, is it here in the middle of the project this I marked the place the spot when I started working uh, uh, on the shawl while traveling so it's this much that I did mostly on a train And this is it for knitting, I believe. And, oh yes, yeah, so if we're done with knitting, but still in the shawl topic, I will remind you that we, uh, on our Ravelry group, we still have a knit along going on, which is a shawl along. It's, uh, the deadline is till the end of June, which means on the 1st of June, I will uh, close the thread for posting um, your finished objects. And on, on the next episode, uh, I will draw a prize. We have really beautiful finished objects. Uh, even if you're not taking part in the, in the cal, just check them out because they are lovely. And um, I will just remind you that uh, the prize will be a skein of Wolfenschaffe yarn. Um, either it's it's a choice of the winner, either on my sock base on paw, or on Belladonna. Uh, so uh, and then any of my repeatable colorways, whichever you like the most, and you can well either from my like previous episodes whatever you, you've seen and you liked, you can choose it or any color from you see in my shop on Etsy. The link is also down below. <laughs> and yeah, and then I will dye it for you. So I, I think I will be even more excited this time because there are more participants in the last knit along. So yay, it's awesome. So now we can proceed to yarn and needle acquisitions. Uh, so as I mentioned before, I have purchased this uh, 120 centimeter or 47 inches long cable, which will allow me to comfortably knit on two sleeves at a time. And I have got also some using the opportunity while I'm ordering, so, you know, I should buy some more stuff. <laughs> um, so some more uh, cables, because one of my cables broke while I was knitting on my uh, rhombi sweater. And, and also I thought I, I, I would uh, be happy with more cables, because <laughs> there was a moment uh, when, when I thought, wait a minute, why don't I have more cables here? And then I remembered that I have um, three cables on this project because I'm knitting on one and then um, on two of them I'm keeping the sleeves uh, instead of stitch holders. So yeah, that's where they went. But anyway, since one of them broke and I use them for, for the sleeves, um, I bought some more, like 100 centimeters, uh, which is not written here how much inches it is, and 80 centimeters. And also, nothing mentioned about inches, sorry. Uh, and to easily... Um, recognize my my sleeve uh, cable I bought a dark, uh, um, black one and the rest are my regular color which is purple but that's not all I I purchased another pair of carbons which is 3.5 millimeters 
Yay. Nothing mentioned about US size, but I believe it might be something around four. I think so. I think it's US size four. Uh, so I, I was feeling safe with entering the plane with my regular NetPros 3.5 because I knew that here, because I ordered it to, to Warsaw, these would be waiting for me in any case. And yes, I finally have 2.25 uh, millimeter tail goose, which is US size 1. Because some of you know that I have um, I have 2.5 millimeters uh, and I wanted 2.25 and I ordered them and they arrived in a package like this with um, with description that they are 2.25 but then it turned out that inside were uh, actually 2.5 like my second 2.5s. And it was actually uh, written on the needle inside. So I decided to try again. And yes, this time these are 2.25. Yay! And again, there's this long cable, 120 centimeters, 47 inches. Zoom. I hope this is... I don't really, really see when it's clear, but I hope you can see it. But anyway, I finally have, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I finally have uh, the size that I wanted. So, yoohoo! <laughs> but if you are um, ordering things from a yarn store, it's very weird not to order any yarn, really. So I just, excuse me for crinkling, uh, I just ordered this cute little skein. Actually, I did not pay attention to the description that it is actually 50 grams, not 100 grams. Uh, but uh, I think I will be okay with it. It's, it's uh, Drops Fabel print. And it's a sock yarn, variegated, as you can see. Um, is there any name for it? No, only it's color 162. And yes. So I thought it's 100 gram, it's 50 grams. That's per perhaps why it was so cheap. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I believe I can <coughs> anyway, I believe I can um, knit a pair of socks for myself from this only because I have often knitted uh, socks from like even 40 grams and since I knit two at a time and start from toes up um, I can easily use up just everything just finish the cuff whenever I'm out of yarn. So awesome! And I really, really love this colorway. It's it's full of um, blues and teals and some other lively colors like oranges and flecks of purple and red. It's and some white too and some green. It will be a very interesting uh, fabric from this. Just, just a tiny yarn acquisition, right? But uh, th this is not all yarn, that not all new yarn that I have, because I have wove something again. Yay! Uh, I took part in a uh, sock knit along on a Polish knitting forum that is on Ravelry. It's called Knitting in Poland, and yeah, we had the sock knit along. And there were quite a lot of prizes, and I won this. And this is this is just awesome. It's really a lovely skein of hand spun yarn. 
This is a natural uh, brown uh, blue faced Lester. Blue faced Lester. And it was uh, hand spun by one of our uh, like forum friends. And she most kindly sent it to me. I'm, I'm just delighted. It's squishy and nice and wow, she really did a good job on this. Should I? Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see. It's Navajo plied. So it's a three ply yarn. And it's just, yeah, I'm amazed. And it was actually the only uh, hand spun prize in the cal. So I feel really like it's special. And I also got a bar of chocolate together with it. It's uh, and it's uh, dark chocolate uh, matching more or less the color of the fiber and the brand is Vedel which is the most famous uh, Polish brand for chocolate and since I love uh, dark chocolate it's just perfect and I don't know if you can see this probably not I haven't mastered this mastered the zooming yet but it's since 1851 so it's pretty uh, like an old brand with traditions and everybody in Poland knows it of course so yay this is around 307 between 370 to 400 meters so yeah I can really make something interesting with it Yes, and uh, I will just mention who uh, the spinner was and I will say hello Anya. It's Anya who is Chmurka'a on Ravelry and that's because her last name, it's, I think it's very cute, uh, Chmura is actually a cloud. So she's Mrs. Cloud. Hi, you're awesome. <laughs> so, uh, as for spinning, again, I don't have everything uh, with me to show you uh, because I didn't take a bobbin wi without my spinning wheel, it didn't make sense. But uh, I'm almost done with the second single of my Falkland by, by Porpoise Fur. And when I'm back, I will just finish it and then ply it and I will have a nice scheme. Oh, I had an accident while spinning this because Polkland, as, as I read, is a cross between Merino and some other uh, breed of sheep, which means it's, um, it's a very, it has very fine uh, hairs and Sometimes I'm still a beginner, so sometimes it so happens that while spinning uh, my thread breaks and then the bobbin is still spinning and sometimes it happens that uh, the end gets somehow really toughly stuck in the rest of the thread and I cannot completely like I can't find the end, so I cannot connect the uh, like my fiber to it, and that's a disaster because it sometimes t takes me like ages to find it really. And I had a really great problem this time, mm, so it ended up with me removing quite some meters of of the thread, so. I hope it, it, it will be all right. I will see how maybe I can, the, the part removed, I can attach at the end of, of, the, of the yarn. We will see. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's a lovely fiber to spin. And, uh, oh yeah. So since I am uh, wheel less right now, I was spinning a bit on on my spindle because yeah what can you do and I didn't take it with me oh my god 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was packing in a state of um, in a bad state. But anyway, I was using my Turkish spindle uh, with some merino Rolag, and and it the fiber kept breaking on me, and it didn't happen on other spindles recently. I don't know whether it's the spindle, but it worked fine with other fiber or whether this one Rolex is just, I don't know, very fine and, and, and it just keeps breaking. So I got pretty much irritated and it was my, uh, the woolly witch, um, spicy pumpkin latte, something like this. And it's only one Rolex, so it was really just for fun. But now I don't know what to do with it. I started spinning it uh, thicker, so maybe it won't break, but it still breaks. So I don't know. I don't know. It uh, turns out that in, in the bag that I thought I had my <laughs> Turkish spindle, I have this one that I bought in Edinburgh and that I uh, used to, to teach uh, spinning to my friends on the watercolor retreat. So it's it's very cute because it's full of uneven um, yarn that was like a first ever thread produced by them. So I just I just took this with me to to spin whenever I miss my my kiwi and and that's it. I just remembered I didn't take the the Turkish spindle. Whatever. I also have some Rolex if, if I fancy spinning something more fancy. Uh, I have some, I think, four, ro a set of four Rolex still that I left here last time. Also by the Woolly Witch. And I really like this spindle. It's, I must say, the lady at the festival did not lie. She says it's a very good beginner spindle and so it is. I love it. It's awesome. And yes, so about dyeing. In the last episode, I showed you uh, first uh, fiber that I, I have not yarn, but fiber for spinning or felting that I have dyed. And I must say, I'm enjoying it. So I dyed uh, two more. And again, they are in Switzerland, but I will insert photos so you can enjoy them right now. So yeah, one of them uh, <laughs> looks like a broccoli. I, I got uh, some comments from people about that. Uh, and um, I have ordered, since I will be here in Poland till the 12th, of July mm, and I decided I won't be uh, taking all my dyeing yarn here so there will be a bit of a pause um, during this time for for my uh, for my yarns but I have ordered some fiber and uh, I am planning on using the dyes that I left here when I was last time, for a longer period of time, I was here in Warsaw, so and I wanted to continue on dyeing my yarn, so I just uh, prepared the dye lots and I didn't use them up, of course. So I will be just using them now with the fiber, which I find a really a good idea because I it was nagging me that I left those you know nice uh, dyes here and. I won't use them probably and they will go to waste. So, so yeah, I have my uh, dyeing pot here and some tools that I left here before, so I should be all right. And also with my order from, from the fiber shop, I got a lovely bonus. It's awesome. It's the logo of, of the shop. And I find it <laughs> really great. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a sheep. And uh, this, I don't know how to uh, describe it, but it's 
it's really nice to detach this this part so yeah i will have a bag for fiber but uh, even though i'm not convinced that black is the best color for fiber because you know it is like cut fur it gets everywhere but well who cares i really i really like it it's awesome and thank you dear evelenka you're you're awesome you're awesome uh, yes um and that's it for this episode uh only the last segment called life <laughs> is left and what can i say oh the horror <laughs> So last week I did not record because my son got sick and he was home with me and it made it impossible to record. So that's why I couldn't record. Then on Friday we were traveling to Poland and then really soon after that from Warsaw to Brest in which is a city just after a Polish Belarusian border for uh, my husband's cousin's wedding and it was it was a nightmare first on Friday it was a hard day and then on Saturday when the uh, wedding in the afternoon uh, the wedding was scheduled first we had to wake up like at five in the morning not having slept the day before really well because Stasha had uh, some still stomach problems and whatnot and then yes we had to first travel to a, a town Polish town near the border and then wait around two hours for the train that travels like this like 13 kilometers 13 kilometers it's this much it travels but it takes surprisingly a long time to do that other than that um, when we boarded the train you're supposed to board it earlier if you want to have uh, a seat because you buy tickets sometimes with the numbered seats sometimes without and so we boarded it a bit earlier like 20 minutes then it turned out that the train did not uh, uh, move on time because there was a group of people being deported uh, it seems that there are people I think mostly from Chechnya who tried to um, get to Poland and from Poland to Germany searching better life and they are often being deported like some of them travel every day trying to get through the border and it made us wait on the train for an hour the train since it's traveling through the border uh, has all the windows blocked you cannot open a window there and it's not the kind of train you would have air conditioning in and it was around third yeah it was thir 35 celsius on that day and i checked it to fahrenheit it's 95 degrees fahrenheit imagine that and then another uh, probably half an hour traveling so it i spent around two hours in the train not having rested properly before and then when i arrived at the wedding my headache started and it i kid you not it continues until like to, until today it's much better now but uh, I suspect I got overheated and I have never experienced anything like that never had I such a great headache I couldn't sleep because of the headache and my head uh, really I have some other problems in my life but the head really seldom hurts 
so yeah it well i mean the wedding itself was very nice Gleb's family was so happy that we could make it and I'm I'm glad we went but it just was too much for me I suppose and this ridiculous train with blocked windows it's just ah oh, can you believe it so I, I was even told that uh, they always make a stop sorry uh, memory card got got full so i had to stop uh, so what was i talking about yeah i got told that there is always a short stop for this train because um, the conductors are checking whether there is nobody under hidden under the train so <laughs> for in my world this is just uh, yeah crazy uh, luckily enough, on our way back, nobody was getting deported because it works only the other way around. Seriously, when I was going to Belarus, I felt like I'm the only Polish person on the train. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so yeah, I somehow survived on painkillers um, and I'm just right now i'm just home and resting and drinking magnesium and trying to refill my sodium potassium magnesium everything that i probably lost i'm slowly getting better but boy that was awful that was a really awful experience and i i wish you dear viewers never experience uh being overheated because it's awful <laughs> um, so yes I think that's it enough of my moaning um, I hope I will be able to record as usual next week and I wish you a lovely week happy knitting and where's the Marat okay he's here and uh, we will see you next time Bye!